water. Alright, let's let's go. It's time to go. Waiting long enough. Ah, oh, perfect timing and updated. Excellent. Alright, let's go. Let's start. Now, if we did this correctly, we should have a clean slate with no save files. Hang on. Let's see. Great, new game. Let's go. Ah! <clears throat> See, Kaisel Pla Plateau, Planet Velden. Here's our. Okay, I can move myself up a little bit. Final step attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Eh, just that one thing that we need to do robotic ignition system. Meanwhile, on a factory on a nearby planet. Something's wrong. And look! It's our little robot friend. Hello! Ah. Hmm. Oh no. Get out of there, Clank. And off we go. Uh oh, they're not letting us leave. Approaching planet Velden. 11.47 a.m. local time. Dun -da -dun -da -da. Hey, wait a minute, that robot, it looks like one of the Galactic Rangers from up your arsenal. <laughs> Interesting, I never noticed that before. Uh, crash land. Is reposition myself in my chair. Some creaky chair ASMR. And right, let's start the. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta. Welcome to the Gadgetron. I gotta reverse the control, the camera controls. Let's see. All right. Camera. Let's see left, right, normal, reversed. All right. I'll. Set the camera speed to fast as that's how I roll. Help desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The help desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Still need to do reversed on the other set of camera controls. This thing is with camera controls. It's like which is reversed and which isn't. Let's see. Yeah, this is back in the days before you were able to upgrade your weapons. So basically the weapons just stayed the same throughout the whole game. You just got more of them.
side jump. You can interrupt help desk messages by pressing the. Oh, why can't it hit you? Swoosh. Oh, that's how you open the map. See how the triggers do the same thing? Why did that hit you? I feel like it should have. Gadgetron's Omni Wrench 8000 includes a new comet strike. To activate, use the R1 button to crouch and the button press the square button. Yeah, I did it the other way. Throwing your wrench. That's an enemy. Whenever you sustain injury, let Gadgetron's patented management system rebuild your body from the inside out. Definitely the frame rate is lower playing it on here than on TV. Because I'm running the through Elgato. Through the Elgato capture card and playing the game through the preview software. Yeah, the game capture software. I'm not actually using it to record the footage. I'm using my streaming software to do that. Oh! I was close. Hopefully, people will show up. If not, I'm just gonna keep playing the game. Boom. and Clank, it's very basic stuff. It's like there's like a delay between oh. to use your bomb bomb, press the circle button to equip it, and the circle button again to fire it. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1. Eat it. You can't strafe in this game, but you can do flip jumps. That's something I didn't like, because I actually played this game earlier this year and actually finished it. So this will be my, like, second time playing through this game in the space of, like, of this year. So, I'm hoping to get through the entire series on stream. I think that would be fun. All right, here's the crash site. And here is our buddy. Hey, I got a robot. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Doesn't seem like a Currently, very finely tuned to tool. Saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Yeah, dude. Hello, citizens of. <laughs> My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. 
We are constructing a pristine new world using the Captain Gantu. military components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand. <laughs> What's so hard to understand? It's just a big a claw. Of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Oh, turn it off, you idiot! Can't say that. The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Captain Actually, Quark. You <laughs> if you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. That is my proposal. I proposed we propose. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. <laughs> I just really like oh, seeing stuff from this great. game. So that's where I've been and stuck this whole time. Being like, hey, that's Captain Gantu. Because I was really into Lilo and Stitch at the time. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! Clank. Back on Chairman Drek's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you, you need. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Entering atmosphere, plant Navalis. <clears throat> I guess he can't fly a ship. Crashes it immediately. Oh, where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Pardon me. This the audio was a bit quiet. Oops. Do 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 do. The game shows saving in the bottom right corner of the screen. Your progress means. So the screen, do not turn off the power. While this this text is on screen, oops. Huh. Someone in QA must have missed that. Let's see. Can we buy anything yet? Let's see. I got some great for not quite. Don't have enough bolts. Yeah. Still needs more bolts. I can go this way first.
bird bot. No, wait, th I think those are called like chomp bots or something. Ah, get those nice good bolts. And now, there's something you can get if you wall jump up here. Not just a ton of bolts, but also a gold bolt. I mean, like I said, I have played this game already this year, so I found a lot of the stuff. Kaboom. Let me know. Nope, not far enough. Gonna have to go over to the other side. Got him. Let's see. Anything down there? I think that just goes down the pipe that leads out. So let's keep going. <sighs> Get some ammo. Bomb glove ammo. Break these, get more bolts, break this pipe. All right, we can cross over over here. Bolts almost there. Can almost get the pyrocitor. This is the interesting about this game from the last time I played it was like even though you can't upgrade your weapons, but every single weapon in your arsenal feels viable in certain situations. Can't remember having to wrestle with the camera this much. Uh, yeah, I'm the kind of person who just like tends to try always try to readdress the camera And here's our friend the plumber look, the plumbers crack. What did you just say? I said look the plumbers back All right, <laughs> Nice save one of them escape transports. Escape transports. News flash, giant robots attacking the escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> That's something that's kind of cramping your style when it comes to buying the Pryrocitor. You have to buy the Infobot and it's like 500 bolts. Yeah, L1, L2, they do the same thing. So do R1 and R2. Like, L1 makes you look. R1 makes you crouch. Oh, there's a bolt. Get the info bot. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? 
He sure did. Dude. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa, that was close. Ah! Right down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit. Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's hit him, Scream. Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Ow. Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. <sighs> All right, now we slide down the sewer pipe. See, how close am I to the pyrositor? Oh man, I need 400 more bolts. Okay, in order to do that, I'm gonna go this way. Bum, bum. Even though I don't have the thing that allows you to breathe underwater yet, I should be able to make do. Ooh, ooh, bolt. Bomb glove ammo. Guess get me some bolts. Oh yeah, something fun about the HD version of the game is like the water bar won't go away. They don't move it back far enough. And overall the HD versions of the game, they're good, but they're just weird oversights like that. Let's see, get some bombs. Gotcha. Crushed mushrooms. Some bolts in here. Hang on, I gotta see if I can bump up the brightness. At least in the thing I am the picture. Let's see brightness. That's way too much. Let's see, try that. Better. Definitely better. Okay, I think that's a bit too much. I mean, the CPU... hang on. That's probably good enough. All right, let's go. Let's see, only a few more bolts to go. Hold on, how many? Yeah. Don't want to dive just yet. Let's dive. All right. Swim through the pipe. All right, going back up. Yes. Ah, we made it. Oops. 
I wonder if playing on 4K is... Because it does seem to be slowing down. The game feels sl more sluggish than I remember. Yes. Hello. Dang, I feel sleepy. Is it because I ate? Now here's a secret. If you blow up this wall, you get gold bolt and a bunch of crates. <sighs> That's some good water. Yep, that's everything. And now we have enough for the pyrositor. Hang on, I'm gonna try and break these mushrooms again. Just testing your input lag. Turn the crank to open the door. Mm. I may at some point in the future, like, get like an actual TV to hook up to, because I do have a TV as my second monitor, but it's not a very good one. Pretty basic. So it might be easier to play if I have it set up like that. Plus, then I don't have to have the capture utility open. Ah, I'm doing good on bolts. Alright. Let's get ourselves a pyrocitor. Got it. Ta da! It doesn't start us off with full ammo, which is unfortunate. And since this is the original game, we have to. I got some free have to, like, check every weapon and manually max it out. There we go. Let's burn some robots. Oops. I think there is some input lag going on. It's a bomb. As I said, every weapon feels useful. It's like the Pyrocitor. Oops. Is good for taking out these guys. Got him. Mm. 
Yeah, man, I'm feeling kind of sleepy. Take this guy out. Take that guy out. Wanting to frown. You're gonna have to recalibrate again. Alright, we're good. I wonder if it's just like the, my natural just look at concentration. Wait. There's some I got some buddy. Oh, he was just blowing his friend up. That guy out. He's got some more crates. Ah, excellent. More pyrocyter ammo. to just like end the stream early and take a nap or maybe I should have drank some like black tea or something I feel like I'm about to fall asleep right now. Try to at least finish the stage. I think it's just gonna beat this level and just like take a power nap or something. Uh, 
Unless, like, someone drops in. Right as I'm about to end. It's great that you can, like... Mercenaries, torturers, assassins. I, I, I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info box. It's all I've got left. Sir, can you uh, let's see what he's got. <laughs> Ratchet, you <laughs> he's a dick in this game. Uh oh. Oh wait, it doesn't work. Nom. And believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your mm, Poor Al. Al's RoboShack, it's Quarktastic. Upstage in his own commercial. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Nice. Right. Thank you, your chairman and shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. Press the select button to bring up the map. Your ship is marked with a star. Hold on, I'm going to try something. Ah, oh, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, that's a big improvement. I basically just switched the inputs over because I have it set up to play through my other monitor. And it doesn't look too bad. It looks a bit... a bit warped. So I'm just going to close the 4K game capture. And of course, that means I'm going to have to unmute the game capture. Hello. Uh, wait, is the desktop audio picking myself up? Hang on a sec. Properties. Is, yeah, audio monitoring is off. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'll mute it, just in case. Let's see. Because I've been getting an echo. Because I do have it set up that I can hear myself through my headphones. Oh uh, boy. All right. Hello. Papa. Under off. USB audio device. You can see what happens when I mute. Ba ba ba. Because it's still picking up my microphone. Alright, I gotta unmute the console game capture. Ah, perfect. Alright. Yeah, that feels a lot more natural.
Yeah, it feels better playing it on TV than on than through the capture software. And it actually doesn't look too bad. Well, this is fine. Yeah, and that's definitely less taxing on the CPU. I gotta make sure it's not running in the task manager. Yeah, we're good. All right. So yeah, definitely better playing on a TV than on a, than through a piece of software. Like, I tried plugging in directly into my monitor, and it did not work. It looked like garbage. I think there's, like, with TVs, there's some upscaling going on. I'm perked up a little bit. It feels a bit weird having to look over, but actually, I'm looking over, and it's not too bad. This is an experiment more than anything else. It's the other ship. Mm. Ah. I feel like I'm not getting... Hmm. I'm not getting this. Ah. All right, where am I going first? All right, I'm gonna go to Iridia nice. first. Rescue skin the marks. Ah. I'm thirsty. Way. And here's Skid McMarks. It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. <laughs> My agent dude. and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay, but. I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just sprained might have a spare ankle. For you. We'd love to help you, sure. Mr. Boards, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain. One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. <laughs> Look at that smile. Uh, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> yeah, Ratchet's kind of a dick in this game. Alright, let's get the Pyroster out. This is what it was made for. Hang on. 
Is my audio echoing? Is it? Alright, let's see. Actually, you know what? I think I have a better idea. You know what? Hey, I think we... Monitor and output. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got audio monitoring. Oh, wow. That sounds weird. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> it's because I had the sound setting so that I could... So that I could hear it through the computer. But I think what I should have done is have it through Streamlabs instead. So, damn, it sounds bizarre. Ba ba ba. All kinds of scuffed. That's how you describe my setup. All right, no more echoing. We are going to banish that to the nether realm. All right, listen. All right, here we go. That's better. See, it looks like I'm still picking desktop audio, still picking up something. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. Properties. Let's see. Monitor and output. Monitor only mute output. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Stop audio properties. Oh, but I got the monitor off. I sense the audio through the desktop audio channel. Okay, that's now it's echoing. Monitor only. Monitor off. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we are good. Ba -ba -ba. Testing. Sound looks mono. Monitoring off. There, I, now I can't hear myself at all through the microphone. Hang on. Monitor only. Monitor and output. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Monitor only. Okay. I'll have to check this later. Probably shouldn't be doing this on stream, but no one's here, so whatever. Just monitor off, monitor only, monitor and output. All right, hang on, I guess it's back to 50. All right, I think this setup is working better and better all the time. It's getting better all the time. I used to get mad at my school. The teachers that taught me weren't cool. Lining me up with their rules. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
You can't even buy these. Well, I gotta bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. You've just acquired a Gadgetron Z3000 hoverboard. Use your new hoverboard at the racetrack in Blackwater City on Green Grill Bar. I got some great bargains uh, for you yet. today.
will need a Gadgetron Swingshot to traverse this area. Our records indicate that this Swingshot is not a victim. No signal whatsoever! This downtime is killing me! Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. <laughs> Say, you look Not like an athletic kid. One. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. Oh, man, that chat. 
Again after winning race. Hi there, Fuzzball. Let's see if anyone else shows up. I'll be right back.
And I'm back. Right back to the live. <clears throat> All right. Just lean back in my chair. I got some tea. Any other good place to put it? Yeah, put it here. <clears throat> it won't spill all over my computer that way. All right. Back to the I think I'll be have time to do one more. Mayday, mayday! This is the solution. Mayday, mayday! This is the Kerwan, Metropolis. This is it Al's Robo Shack? I got some great Even bargains for you today. Get it. Got it. Get it? Get it? Good. Max out. Max out the ammo. B bada bing bada boom. I'm gonna sit up in my chair. Just lean back just a little bit, but not too far. Blaster. To quickly center the camera, just tap the L1 button. Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck! Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Oh. <laughs>
These moving walls also function as jump slides. Jump and jump again to kick off the walls in mid-air until you reach the top. Balls. That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! Yeah, what do you mean? Great. We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! Then I was competing. I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! <laughs> but somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark! Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. for it. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Uh, yeah. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that. Real men. The two of you make me sick. Oh, she goes. Congratulations on your new Gadgetron swing shot. Use it on standard first targets like the ones in the park. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button to aim. Thursday, or maybe do an evening stream or something. I don't know. Let's try and still try to figure out what works.
know that you have a map available to you at all times, just press the select button to view a map of this planet. Or press that on the stick. That's another way to look at the map. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch, since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Yeah, he's got some holes in his bottle, definitely. This won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. <laughs> Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. <laughs> Poor Al. Still no respect, no respect for nerds. Try using the Helipax boost jump feature to climb these boxes. Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. using the R1 button and then jump.
Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm <laughs> counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. <laughs> Grek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Yeah, dude. You should not <laughs> underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> persuade. You got light? No. I got some great bargains for you today. Yeah. Oh, can go to that little place. Oops, keep doing that.
vault. Hang on, that. Oh, I just remembered there's a secret area at the train station that I can bypass. Okay. Okay.
Knight's landing site on Eudora. Meanwhile, aboard Executive Chairman Drex Flank ship. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. Playing this game for like an hour and 23 minutes. But overall, I think that this, this actually went fairly well. This was a learning experience in terms of streaming to console and figuring out what works best. Bah, what works best. So anyways, that's really all, all, all the time I have. So... So... Later. So yeah, this has been Tay Tay Soapwing signing off. Bye.